Hey guys, based on the two videos that you've watched, you've seen that the first video has a lot of regrips, notations, and pauses which take it to the sub 30 time solve. While on the second solve, which is my normal speed, I've got a sub 20 solve single with less rotations, less regrips, and less pauses. So today we're going to talk about the, those three factors that might affect you why you're slow in the CFOP method. So this video is for intermediate solvers like me and also for beginners who are want to get sub 30 with the CFOP method. Let's get straight on the overview of, of those factors. So I'm going to look on my laptop, then I'm going to do the scramble. We bring our F2 to F2 B or D prime B D prime F2 U2. So I'm uh, currently I'm using my elder sister's laptop and I'm going and I'm using the CS timer. So I'm going to solve the cross first. Okay, so now we're going to start on the first factor, which is the rotation. In the advanced or intermediate CFOP, the average number of rotations in the C in the F2L is two to three rotations. So, in my average in my F2L, I average um three to four rotations, which is I still try to reduce it to two to three rotations. So, why the first question is why beginners occur a lot of rotations in the CFOP method? First, I think and when I was in sub 30, I can I can only do a specific actual case in just one angle, which is on my front. So for example, this one, we have this pair at the back. So what we're going to do is to um what usually beginners do is to face it from here and then so since we finish across here they do a y2 then they're going to split it like this one then they're going to rotate at this way or in this way then solve the pair which is um which is really bad so at this angle i can do with this one is going to use my left hand to split this one which is l prime u L, then I'm going to instead to do a B move. I use a wide F prime and then L to insert these two pairs at the box. So that is what I call the back flat insertions. So to avoid these rotations in the F12 part, all you need to do is to try to learn back slot insertions or um, try to have experiment. Don't do some time solves. Grab your cube and scramble the cube up, solve the cross. Then do some experiments on how to solve these um, these F12 pairs in different angles. 
So another we have is this orange, this pair, these two pairs. So what usually beginners do is just like I say I'm going to do. So I'm going to insert this one, and then what I'm going to do is to ro keep rotate, which is uh, really bad. Um, wait a minute. Okay, so what they usually, so what I usually do is to do the same first. L prime, U, L, and then I'm going to do a U prime. Then insert it with the side version of the sledgehammer. So there is no rotations occur in the beginners i usually some i sometimes use the first solution but totally i use the this second solution so another one is we have this now we have now we're facing orange now we're going to solve these two pairs at the back so what i usually for you do in this case is for the beginners method which is like that okay so now i've changed it okay so yeah like that so we have this so what i do is this one then i insert with the white f move and then for the last one which is this one is really basic or for this one, I do it this and then a sledge hammer. So, for overall, to avoid this one is to try to do some back slot insertions. Try to um, mm, try to do cases in different angles or try to search on YouTube and other tutorials to to uh, um, to do how they do it especially to the pro cubers like j perm so he he upload f2l tricks like that and also in the future i'm going to also make an in-depth tutorial on how to avoid rotations when in f2 so let's proceed in the in the last layer so in the last layer as you can see in the first solve um the first solve instead uh he she i do a rotation then i occur the ag and then also another rotations so to avoid that in my second solve i do i use u moves instead of rotation then for, for example this one so i don't still memorize the algorithm for this case so i usually do two loop ol for this case so currently i've memorized 40 ol cases after out of 57 ol cases so what i do since it's a line case i can do it in any angle but i usually put this block in my front so i do u2 or in this u or if this block is here i do u prime and then I'm going to do an F R U R prime U prime and then an F prime. Now I have this soon case, which is really normal. And then now we're going to proceed to the last layer. So what beginners usually do is to match these headlights, these corners to its corresponding. Then they're going to do a rotations, then do the algorithm, which is uh, really bad okay so in this angle so we currently have um this angle so what we're going to do is to use u moves again this is what we call the auf which means adjusting the u face so what we're going to do is to since for the algorithm that i use in the ga perm i put these headlights on my left and then i do my algorithm and then going to do an AUF, and that is a uh, rotationless 
last layer solve. So, so let's try to do a solve with less rotations, but we're going to do with a lot of regrips and a lot of pauses if the less rotations may help you to slow down your time. reduces my time in two seconds then my first sub in the introduction so from 28 to 26 seconds okay which is pretty gay pretty great so let's now proceed the second factor okay okay so now for the second factor just put down the camera down okay like that perfect angle so now for the second factor we have the regrips so, so we have another scramble here. Let's scramble the cube up. So now we're going to solve a cross with regrips. So regrips, what we usually do is to now. Um, so this is the home grip. Then we're going to grip. The, so this is the original grip. Now we're going to grip another in another angle, then we're going to grip again. So that is what we call the regrip. Gri um, you're gripping at a another angle or another position of your hands from this one to this one, back to this one, and this one back to this one. So now the most basic problem in this um why regrips occur in the CFOP method is finger tricks so there are a lot of finger tricks tutorials maybe a thousand results of finger tricks tutorials in youtube why you don't watch it and try to learn some advanced finger tricks so advanced finger tricks may help you to do some these are the finger tricks that you're going to do in a specific grip for example you're on this grip then you're going to do an f move i can do this then this one then i'm going to regrip once do a d2 and then an f2 and then d prime and that solves my cross with one regrip okay so now we're going to focus on the f 2 l so now this one these pair are really easy to insert now we're going to try with less rotations okay so that is no regrip now there is this one Okay, agree. Are so they usually do is do this one, then you rotate, then a, re a grip. So that is um two re grips at this case, which is um really common. So to avoid this, we're going to try some advanced finger tricks. So I'm going to start my grip here. Then I can do a push here or do this weird one. Then I'm going to rot cube rotate and then insert it like that. So which is pretty simple. Let's write fast. Okay, that is really basic. I regrip also once, but that one is better. So now another is this. We're going to do U2 and then I regrip once. I regrip again. So I regrip twice here. Okay, so or they do a cube rotate and then insert the pair so i usually do two regrips in that so which is pretty normal so in average in f2l i do um at least three to five regrips 
or maybe one regrip to two regrips to three regrips rather so now for the last f to l like that then push this one or i this weird finger trick again then you two flick or and then another then insert it the sledgehammer okay so now for the o l so i then do I start with the f prime with this one f prime then inverse sexy move left sexy move and then i ended up with this one and now for the m slices for the this slice i use my middle finger so then okay so uh, i made it wrong so now it end up with the h perm okay let's do the h perm okay so i made it wrong again and that's how to reproduce to reduce the regrips so let's try to do a solve with less regrips with a lot of pauses and with less rotations Amount of time reduce from 26 with less regrips and less rotations, but some pauses occur. It's 21.74 seconds, which is 5 seconds being reduced from the previous time, 26. So let's now proceed to the final factor that affect you which is which is really hard to master so let's scramble the cube up and let me tell you so while i'm scrambled it i'm going to tell you the last one which is some which is the hardest to master so this is what we call the pauses how to eliminate pauses slow down and look ahead and which is the slow down and look ahead is one of the hardest to master it took me a uh, one month to practice and to master the look ahead in f to l so there should be no pauses in cfab method which is a lot of reduce in times so let's start doing a cross Okay, so now, look ahead means you're going to, while solving the current pair, you're going to look for another pair that you're going to solve. So that means you're not going to focus to the pair that you're currently solving, like this one. So there is no pause. So let's scrub like you with my hand scrubbles. And then let's solve a mm, cross first. Mm. Okay, so now I've seen this pair first after I solve my cross. So I'm going to solve it. And then, then I'm going to do a cube rotate. Then when I insert it, I saw this pair at the back. And the next one is this. I'm going to do a cube rotate. And then another cube rotate because these two pair. These pairs. And then another cube rotate. And then all else. Okay, so another factor that pauses occur is recognition or case recognition is 
it's beginner some beginners or intermediate solvers like me also got a pause in when it comes to um OL rather so when i got confused in an OL case i been pausing for two to three seconds which is i tried to avoid it so what i do is to try to find some pieces that i can use so i don't get confused with some ol cases that are really look identical to each other just the mirrored versions of it so now let's solve the cross again then after i solve a cross i've been tracking so now i so i saw this corner Yes, the corner over here, and then the corner is over here. Then while I'm solving, okay, so while I'm solving it, I've solved this pair already. And then now I've seen this pair. Then I'm now looking for the corner which is over here. Then a cube rotate and that. solves my F2L and then just remember to eliminate pauses have a faster recognition slow down and look ahead so slow solving with no pauses is better than fast solving with a lot of pauses okay so now let's try to do a solve when when you master this three factors when you reduce these three factors no pauses less cube rotations and less regrips okay so let's try solve okay so maybe i can get my normal times with this one so okay normal time solve so from 21 seconds when i master the look ahead now i've got this time it's a sub 20 which is um my normal times currently and i've got a sub 10 so which is my current pb um last two weeks two weeks ago so i'm still looking for the reconstruction of my pb but i can't because i don't have a any record of that it's just an accidental okay so now i hope you learned something today so i'm going to have a in-depth review for that in-depth tutorial with um for example a series of problems solved like that so i'm going to have a separated in-depth tutorial to like, cube rotations regrips and pause it so i hope you learned something today and enjoyed it so i'm going to put a last video two soaps when solving a f2l with a lot of pauses with regrips and with rotations and another video is a f2l with my normal time solve which is a sub 10 f2l so please watch it and i hope i can see you can see the differences of these two video for later so before i i put i we proceed on that next video be sure to like subscribe down below and if you want to see my soul subscribe to my another channel which is there is my name there so i just put the links in the description below links to other channels that i mentioned earlier are in the description below hope you dis subscribe and like and comment down below what your thoughts or if you have 
If you're still struggling with these factors, you may request what video I could do next. This is a cubing challenger. I'll see you soon in my next video. Happy cubing!